Hi, I'm Claire Ridgway, author of several Tudor history books, and the Boleyns are my favourite Tudor family. So today I'm going to share with you 10 facts about Elizabeth Boleyn, mother of Queen Anne Boleyn. Number one, Elizabeth Boleyn, born Howard, was the daughter of Thomas Howard, Earl of Surrey, and later second Duke of Norfolk, and his first wife, Elizabeth Tilney. Her siblings included Thomas Howard, 3rd Duke of Norfolk, and Edmund Howard, father of Queen Catherine Howard. Number two, Elizabeth was descended from King Edward I through his son Thomas Brotherton, 1st Earl of Norfolk, and his second wife, Margaret of France. Number three, Elizabeth had at least five children by Thomas Boleyn, Mary Boleyn, Anne Boleyn and George Boleyn, but also two sons who died young, Thomas and Henry. According to Thomas Boleyn, Elizabeth was pregnant on an annual basis during the early years of their marriage. Number four, it's not clear whether Elizabeth was a permanent lady-in-waiting to Catherine of Aragon, but she's listed as attending on her at the joint coronation in 1509 and at the Field of Cloth of Gold in 1520. Number five, there is no evidence that Elizabeth slept with King Henry VIII. When Sir George Throckmorton mentioned to the king that it is thought ye have meddled both with the mother and the sister, meaning Anne Boleyn's mother and sister Mary, the king replied, never with the mother. Number six, Elizabeth was beautiful. Tudor poet John Skelton wrote a poem, The Garland of the Laurel, praising a group of ladies of the Countess of Surrey's household. In it, he praised Elizabeth's beauty, saying, In you he would have set his whole delight. Of all your beauty I suffice not to write. But, as I said, your flourishing tender age is lusty to look on, pleasant, demure and sage. Number seven, Elizabeth acted as a chaperone when the king was courting her daughter Anne. She accompanied King Henry VIII and Anne on their 1529 visit to inspect York Place, which the king had taken, well, nicked really, from Cardinal Wolsey, and she also lived there with Anne. Number eight, Elizabeth and her daughter Anne were close. Around 1531, Anne Boleyn wrote a letter to her good friend, Lady Bridget Wingfield, telling Lady Wingfield, And assuredly, next my own mother, I know no woman alive that I love better, showing that she loved her mother dearly. Anne was also concerned about how her mother would cope with news of her arrest in May 1536, saying in front of the constable of the tower, Oh, my mother, thou wilt die with sorrow. Number nine, Elizabeth died on the 3rd of April, 1538, at Baynard's Castle in London. It's not known what she died of and whether it was related to her illness of 1536 when she was recorded that April as sore diseased with the cough, which grieves her sore. Perhaps it was tuberculosis. And finally, number 10, Elizabeth was laid to rest at St. Mary's Church, Lambeth, now the Garden Museum, a traditional Howard family burial place. It was near to Norfolk House, the Duke of Norfolk's London residence. And while it's been suggested that Elizabeth's burial at Lambeth rather than at Hever points to some kind of separation between her and Thomas Boleyn, Lambeth was a traditional Howard burial place, particularly for Howard women and those who died in London. So there you go, 10 facts about Elizabeth Boleyn, mother of Queen Anne Boleyn. I hope you've enjoyed these. Please do subscribe to the channel by clicking round about there. You can hit the bell to be notified as these videos go live. And you can, of course, give me a like and leave me a comment. I'll see you very soon. Take care. Bye bye.